So and what's on your space playlist? You know, everything from Sheryl Crow, Imagine Dragons. You're rocking out in the space station. Yeah. Is there life out there? Is it true that astronauts drink their own pee? You brought some Diet Coke. Yeah, well, I hadn't had any, you know, for nine and a half months, when I, and this was the thing I wanted last time after flight. After flight after to flight. space. Yeah, to space. So you, you have spent the most days in space. Let me just. Yeah, thanks. Pour from here. You've done the mo you've had the most days in space of any American. Is that right? Yes, that's correct. Ever. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? So far, six hundred and sixty-five Six days. For the record. And twenty-three hours. <laughs> <laughs> you know how many hours. So you wanted Diet Coke when you got back down to the ground. Yes, yes. Because With lime. Because you don't have carbonation on board, no carbonated drinks, oh, and really? you don't have any ice on board. So it's like this is, you know. But every time I got back from space flight, I wanted a different thing. The first time I wanted a steak. The second time, uh, salad. Salad. Greens. And then the third time, this last time, I wanted pizza and Diet, Diet Coke. Coke. Cheers to that. <laughs> on a farm right in right. a town with like what 15 people literally I think they have that many now I think it had 32 when I was growing up it's gotten a little smaller right. since then it's a big big place then. <laughs> yeah but how'd you go from farm to astronaut what's the short version short version I watched the astronauts walk on the moon when I was nine when I graduated high school they picked the first female astronauts um, I got a, a bachelor's and a PhD and spent 10 years applying to be an astronaut. I was still working at NASA during that time frame, but it took 10 years of applying. How many times did you apply? Five times over 10 years, every selection. I saw you describe that in a letter that you wrote to your younger self. Mm -hmm. And tell me if I'm wrong, I think you got emotional talking about that. Well, yeah, <laughs> 10 years is a long time. But it's funny because in retrospect, I can say I became a much better astronaut because of those 10 years. The really? things I learned and the things I was doing in that 10 years made me much more qualified as an astronaut. Why weren't you discouraged? Uh, maybe too stupid to be? <laughs> I don't know. Really, I think it was um, just maybe I am a little bit tenacious. Uh, a little bit, you think? <laughs> You've been in space three times. Does it get old? It doesn't for me. And I know some people get bored by it, but to me, it just doesn't. In and you're fact, retired now. Yeah. But would you go again? Absolutely. I would go again. No hesitation. None whatsoever. I think you retired in part for like health reasons. They don't want you to go back up there. <laughs> well, right? they prefer not. Yes. But you'd still go? I'd still go. <laughs> What'd your husband think of that? He'd want to go with me. <laughs> He works in NASA, right? Yeah, he does. Do you have amazing dinner conversations? <laughs> yeah. Like pillow talk? Yeah, he's wicked smart. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're wicked smart, too. <laughs> it's, it's great to have somebody that's so supportive and understanding of why I want to do what I do. Yeah. And, you know, to embrace it and, and encourage it. Can we do a lightning round? Like, just quick sure. questions and answers? Beatles or Stones? Beatles. If you could have a souvenir from any movie set. Aliens. Aliens? What from Aliens? The, the spaceship? Mm, yeah, I'd like the spaceship. Yeah, yeah. Not minus the alien. Is there life out there? Oh, I definitely believe there is. Just based on numbers of stars and numbers of planets around those stars and numbers of galaxies. And there just has to be. So is it ever mind-blowing to be up there? Oh, and, I, and think about things like that? I think the biggest thing that you get out of being in space and seeing the Earth from space is this perspective of what we have here, what it means to us here when we're here, thinking this is so huge and everything, and it is everything to us. It's our ecosystem, it's our life support system that we're trying to generate in other places. But to be such a small part of what even just our galaxy happens to be and to recognize there are billions of galaxies. Yeah. It's mind-boggling. It has to make you feel tiny. Yes. 
Do you get to pack like an iPhone with your playlist on it? Not an iPhone, but we do have little iPod things with okay. all our music on them. So what's on your space playlist? I like, I have everything from um, symphony type stuff, just because Classical. when you're look, yeah, when you're looking out the window, that it kind of fits a lot. But I like, you know, when I'm working, I like something with the beat and, you know, everything from Sheryl Crow, Imagine Dragons, just, I, I like, Lots of different things. You're rocking out in the space station. Yeah. <laughs> Is it true that astronauts drink their own pee? Oh yeah. Treated. Uh, yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. But still. Yes, yeah, we clean it up and drink it. We recycle almost 85% of um, all the water on board the space station. We're looking forward to being able to get it even higher. We need it really close to 100% in order to go to Mars. What's left for you? Hopefully space again. <laughs> You keep saying that. Is NASA listening? <laughs> she so. really wants to go back. Come out of retirement, Maggie. Uh, there are other ways. Well, maybe. There's a, there it's going to require a little cash, though. <laughs> well, no, but there, there. I mean, there are yeah. a lot of private companies getting in the game right now. Yeah, maybe they'll want a scientist that can, knows how to do hands-on stuff and orbit art. Someone with, I don't know, more experience than any other astronaut in space maybe. in the U.S.? Maybe. Would you consider that in all seriousness? Absolutely. Okay, Bezos, if you're listening. <laughs> Richard Branson, if you're listening. <laughs> hey, thank you so oh, much. Thank you. That was great. <laughs> I really appreciate it. <laughs>